So I'm making this video very quick. I was just on my computer and I usually have a lot of tabs open. And some of the things I fall to all the time, and I'm a very ambitious person. <laughs> One thing I lack is consistency, which mostly just deals with uh, discipline, which is something that I can have Monday through Thursday. But discipline without consistency is just, it's absolutely worthless. It's like you're disciplined enough to save $1,000, but then you're going to blow it all one day in a pair of shoes. Um, and that's something I've been experiencing for years. That being said, I'll be an open book because I believe the lessons that I've learned in life and the mistakes that I've learned are not necessarily mistakes, especially if I can share them with people and they can learn from them. So I'm on my computer now and in the midst of this now, I'm studying for my personal training exam and there's so many things I want to do and accomplish, especially being 35 years old that um, I haven't accomplished yet and I feel like I haven't done anything with my life. And um, sometimes when you just stand still in life, since the world keeps spinning, even standing still means you move backwards. You understand? Because it still means you move, you know, everything else is going forward. So that being said, I was on the computer right now and I'm looking at these tabs on my computer and there's a few tabs that are open and they've been open for a while. And it's a, it, the one was about personal training and there's a personal trainer. I was watching his videos and how he made six figures a year. And the other one were on like tips and stuff to pass my exam. And one thing I do, I can, uh, and, and this is this gets pretty scary because, you know, I go and if we look at YouTube videos or Instagram or whatever, um, it's not so much that we can distract ourselves because we can do that easily where we procrastinate or daydream or whatever. Now you have things like YouTube and Instagram, which have these algorithms and they pay millions, and if not billions of dollars for software or artificial intelligence to find out what you like and whether you're in those apps or not, those apps will find you. You can have Yahoo Mail or Gmail. Those apps will find you, find out what you like, and they will do anything in their power to distract you. So even though you can be focused, you can be easily distracted like this, and it makes it harder and harder with how better technology gets, with how better AI gets, with how better the algorithms of all these social media apps get. Because even now you can click on something, it might look like a story and be an ad because you looked at this product and now it leads you back to this and now you're looking at this and now you just waste an hour of your life. And this is what these companies want. So and it's not only scary that we can distract ourselves. What's scary is that companies are paying billions, billions of dollars to take their focus away from you. Because if you're not focused, you're not powerful. And believe me, I can attest that 100%. Because when you're not powerful, you make dumb decisions. When you're not powerful, you're more susceptible to buy their products. When you're not powerful, you're more <laughs> vulnerable to be attacked by the, 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 the enemies that will take your goals down like nothing, like a wildfire. And so one of the things I had to learn is um, currently taking a break from hanging out and stuff like that just so that I can regain some clarity on my life. Because necessarily a lot of distractions are to numb things, are numb the sometimes a painful feeling of knowing what we have to do, what we don't do it. And then we wonder where the time is when. So when I saw these tabs open on my computer, I'm like, why haven't I looked at these videos? Why have I looked at videos of dumb shit? Why am I watching videos about the universe? <laughs> because YouTube knows. This is something he clicked on before and he'll click on it again, especially if it's only three minutes. So let's find out. Does he like watching longer videos? If it's only three minutes, you watch a few three minute videos. It's talking, you can talk about half hour right there. So whatever you do, use these social media apps, whether YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, or whatever you want to use, or Instagram, use them for your benefit. Don't let these companies use you you know, use, if you're going to be distracted, try to make sure that you watch videos or content that relates to your purpose and your goals in life. For instance, if I want to look at YouTube, I'm just going to look at videos on personal trainers and on how to build a successful personal training business or on trading the, the, the currency market or the stock market or on real estate or whatever. And if you can watch a few of those videos and it doesn't necessarily have to be, you have to watch two hours worth of videos every day. But if you can rewire your brain to discipline yourself to watch something beneficial before you watch something self-gratifying, it's just like going on a mental diet. And that's what we all need to do. Even if we're on the freaking toilet, just 
you're on the toilet longer than you have to be because you're just skimming through Instagram like nothing. And that's time that you're not going to get back. I'm 35 years old and time has flew. And the mistakes I've made, I've made and I hope I learned from them, but I don't get that time back. And uh, that just means you have to create the urgency to understand that there is a problem and there is a sickness and it's called a lack of focus. And that lack of focus, it's like driving a car and you're not paying attention to the road. And guess what can happen? You can kill yourself and you can kill other people. So think about your life. Think about how you waste your time and think about what little things can I do? Maybe can I turn off the TV for a little bit and read a book on something that pertains to my career or whatever I want to achieve? Why am I watching this? Why am I scrolling through this? What benefit does this have for me? Because just like that social media app can stick away your life or more, I'm better off to say, just like you can have people around your life that can suck away just like a leech time from your life. You don't have to look very far. You can look at the little device on your in your hand. That thing can take your life away from you. You wouldn't even know it. It could brainwash you and you wouldn't even know it. It can say, you know what? You worked hard. Just watch this. But don't. Watch something beneficial and use these social media apps for your benefit because now you have companies looking to destroy you by distracting you from your purpose. That being said, learn from my mistakes. <laughs> be consistent, be disciplined. Understand every day is a battle and it's a battle for your mind. Because once you control that, your life is going to begin to change. That's a path that I have been on day one so many times. I've fallen and I've always started day one, day one. If you look at my journal, it's always like day one, <laughs> day one. I'm doing it again. But listen, I'm 35, my heart's still beating. And until it stops, I will never stop giving up on my day one. And like I said, just look at the things that are distracting you from your life because this shit goes by real quick. And the, the older you get, the bigger that snowball goes and the faster life goes. But slow down a little bit. Focus on your purpose. Focus on your life. Because if you keep letting yourself get distracted and it's just like you're on a date with somebody and the person's distracted on their phone, you're going to be like, well, how much do you really even want to be with me? Oh, you know. Not really. Now, for your goals in life, if you keep being distracted to achieve them, it's like you're on a date with your goals. Your goals are going to be like, I'm just going to go somewhere else where someone's going to actually work for me. That being said, guys, stay focused. You deserve to achieve big things in life. But that becomes by being your best friend. Don't let yourself be distracted by the foolishness of this world. It will suck your mind up of all its beauty and of all its power, leaving you dead and null like a... Dirt on the side of the road. And I wish with that, I wish you the best. Take care. And until next time, peace.